Now Redfall is one big show and undercooked looter shooter by every metric Redfall's chief problem is that it's simply not ready to be played by the halfway mark of the story when it shifts to the second of its two separate open world maps I was already thoroughly underwhelmed by the bland missions week X combat and repeated technical problems I'd seen of course I'd held out hope for the possibility that things would crescendo as it approached its conclusion that an imaginative finale might make jostling with all the jank worth the game pass glance for vampire junkies and co-op crews unfortunately it doesn't get better if anything it gets worse like the delayed reaction of a knock to the crotch fall is a distinct departure from the likes of death loop and dishonored certainly some of that arcane dna is sidestepped its way into the finished product chiefly in the magical abilities of the four available powered up protagonists but red falls open world approach to a modern day massachusetts is otherwise a little more mundane in comparison not only does the architecture seem a little flavorless compared to death loops funky retro futurism and the victorian backdrop of Dishonored, but also the 122 whole thing is lacking in fidelity and detail this is not a showcase of what the xbox series x is capable of theirs nothing inherently wrong with red falls angular and simple visual style which is on brand with arcane's typical approach and roughly akin to a bloody gothic fortnight but all the charm of a stylized approach like this is lost with such murky textures basic foliage and mediocre lighting it just doesn't look like a brand new 2023 xbox game as it stands it regularly looks like something from the backwards compatible catalog and not necessarily from the most recent generation thank you redfall is perhaps best described as far cry with a supernatural slant and its premise is simple take back the town from the slobbering vampires and the human flunkies that have occupied it. Unfortunately doing so is remarkably. Boring missions are extremely cyclical. And each is cut from a very limited. Assortment of templates and repeated ad. Now seem most seem based around poking. Candles and rejoiced at yet another. Menial scavenger hunt completed however. These weren't the required candles they were just set decoration the required. Candles were actually a box with unseen. Candles in it in a different shed. Nobody foresaw this confounding. Annoyance sometimes you'll encounter a locked door or a piece of equipment. Needing a key that key will be on a lanyard somewhere nearby but you'll only discover it by systematically hunting around and looking at dull props until you are one of your up to three co-op. Buddies accidentally highlights it it's just irritating busy work to pat out. Vanilla quests frustratingly the deeper rut became for instance access to attack. Each boss is gated in exactly the same way and requires the skulls of three under bosses skulls that can only be gathered by doing side missions but these side missions quickly repeat too. And before you know it you're stabbing. The same haunted trees. Blasting identical vampires to dust. And shooting the same gas bottles in the. Same giant piles of trash. Even the kooky and otherworldly vampire. Nests which essentially function as. Enemy camps you can assault for loot are. A let down these nightmarish nests which. Remix parts of the overworld and warp and cram them into twisted tunnels, descending to a huge and haunted heart that needs to be destroyed quickly. Became chore-like once I began to notice the same segments being recycled and reused in subsequent nests. It also ends with a whimper with a boss. Fight against a huge supernatural nasty that essentially boils down to pressing X. 
at three different points on the map. It's like diet do maternal. Plenty of games have gotten by with weak and repetitive quest design simply by having great moments moment gameplay but Redfall doesn't have that going for it. Either with four heroes to choose from. Each with three special abilities plus controls are far too sluggish and it's absurd the only way to change weapons is cycle through them in chronological order but it can occasionally be satisfying to quickly take down a clump of enemies as a group. From time to time I got into a brief groove with my friends by petrifying vampires with UV light so that they could shatter them allowing me to concentrate on the next as they bashed. Away the key word here is quickly though. That is you have to kill them before the I'll get the opportunity to embarrass itself the longer combat drags on the more evident it is that red falls. Enemies completely lack the width to put up a stimulating fight human enemies seem largely disinterested with taking effective cover in a shootout this is particularly evident if you ever sit back and watch the various factions battle one another opposing soldiers love squatting in front of objects to give their assailants the best chance to kill them i've heard snipers rushing at me like an eight-year-old on their first visit to laser tag and others have found themselves irrevocably trapped inside parts of the environment. The vampires however are easily the worst offenders from the low-level ones. That charge and slash it is like mindless animals. To the more powerful ones he'll politely absorb sniper rounds to the face from afar. Lie because they're confused by small spaces. Overall vampires just seem woefully underused as scary threats a lot of the time they float around in the open. Apparently sleeping peacefully they just hover waiting for us to walk directly up to them and attack them sometimes, blissfully unaware you've just turned the vampire that was beside them to dust. It's just not fun to fight enemies who are so dumb they can't even defend themselves. It'd be easier to look past the plane. Combat if the story was compelling, but it too has little bite events unfold in. Likely animated paintings or status in engine dioramas, they all look like placeholders for cutscenes that were never made and I have to say that. Fighting my way to a film projector to run what's essentially a slideshow certainly gives Redfall a cheekness. That's hard to shake the unrewarding. Story starts suddenly after a short. Narration provides little context for who your characters are and ultimately goes nowhere interesting with no engaging twists or turns to speak of. Ever believes things can get this bad. Until it happens it took me 28 hours to finish playing a mix of solo co-op with a friend and also in a group of three but I'd estimate a decent portion of that time was eaten up hunting for watching statues of ghostly central nervous systems having tedious instilled conversations. Also be warned that progression does for any player but the host in co-op games which seems fair enough if you and your mates don't have the same missions unlocked but makes a lot less sense if all players are at identical points in the campaign I began from scratch with. Two friends, all three of us fresh from the first mission, but while they kept their gear in XP, they'll now need to play those missions again and considering that it wasn't much fun to do the first time, I don't envy anyone who has to go through it twice should have known those things wouldn't let us Get away a lot has been made of Redfall. Only running at 30 frames per second at launch on Xbox Series consoles, but while it's certainly noticeable when moving 
rapidly it'd be disingenuous of me to pretend it's a total deal breaker it's not ideal certainly but as a console gamer who grew up playing on 50 hertz tvs at 25 frames per second i'm not going to throw my toys out of the pram over it what's far far more pressing and issue than redfall's xbox frame rate is it's raft of other performance problems from textures that take an absolute age to pop in or don't load at all stuttering when staking vampires at disappearing characters and missing animations and other mission breaking bugs sometimes my friends appeared stationary sliding around the map like chess pieces and sometimes they weren't there at all they were just a floating gun on the other hand sometimes a character will appear but the gun will not making them look like they're playing air guitar during the climax of an early boss fight my character completely vanished from my friend screen turning what could have been a satisfying team victory into a moment of bemused laughter during one side mission i died trying to kill a vampire but when i came back to finish the job he was just a non-interactive blue ghost rotating to face me but otherwise rooted in place and completely not killable when i came back again his energy shield was there but the vampire wasn't in it during a co-op session i found myself more than once fruitlessly attacking an enemy who's standing right in front of me but my friend saw as a dead body on more than one occasion in both maps my crouch and start buttons totally ceased functioning they just made clunking Sounds like button doesn't pause by the way. It's obviously understandable when playing online co-op but completely baffling and inconvenient when playing. Solo dying while in a menu in single player is absolutely ridiculous. There are even errors in the menu screens but I guess that's because vampires don't use autocorrect they love typos. Redfall is a bafflingly bad time across the board whether playing solo or with a friend or three suffering alongside you. That it comes in the wake of our canes. Excellent death loop the enduringly. Beloved prey and the acclaimed. Dishonored series honestly beggars. Belief its performance on Xbox Series X. Is regularly dire plagued with pop ins stutters and a long list of display bugs that struggle to mount a basic defense choose appropriate cover or even 1131 effectively navigate the world the one note mission design recycles and repurposes itself all the way until the anticlimactic final encounter button commands break characters vanish in the cheap and static story scene scene Woefully woefully unfinished by typical standards. There may be occasional glimpses of a competent co-op shooter on display but otherwise Redfall is just like a vampire. In all the wrong ways that is it really wasn't ready for daylight in this state. And it sucks. For more co-op shooter verdicts check out our reviews for Crime Boss Rocket and finished by typical standards. Otherwise Redfall is just like a vampire. In all the wrong ways that is it really. Wasn't ready for daylight in this state. And it sucks. For more co-op shooter verdicts check. Out our reviews for Crime Boss Rocket. City and Dead Island 2. And 4. Everything else stick with IGN Foreign. Foreign.